All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. We're right outside of Buena Vista. Buena Vista. Mexico and I'm just looking you know there's so many examples of this where these people come in here they spend all of this money they do all of this goddamn work you know building these uh, this is obviously going to be a hotel they come in here they, they buy the land they bulldoze it, do all of this work. I mean, they already have the toilets installed here. And, uh, then they just walk away after doing all of this work and all of this money. And uh, <laughs> you know, who am I to talk? Uh, I just think of all the you know, humans, humans acting like humans. I mean, they built the dock here, and uh, this was clearly a you know, this clearly somebody, probably a man in his thirties had this dream that he was going to build this, uh, y y you know, some piece of paradise out here on the lake. There's two docks out here. He was going to come out here and build his little piece of paradise out on Laguna Bacalar. There's a third dock right there. So I don't know when this was abandoned. I don't know if this is part of the Corona panic uh, destroying ecotourism or what it was. But, you know, there's just something so fucking depressing about places like this. And they're all over the place down in Latin America. <laughs> now someone could get this far. And then uh, I'm assuming they either ran out of money. Or they ran out of energy. Uh, you know, at, at what point did this dude... You know, at what point did he just say, fuck this. I'm done with it. and uh just walk the hell away so when i say who the hell am i to talk after that shit that went down in peru uh, you know with my big fucking dreams of moving to the peruvian amazon thinking that uh people were gonna come join me in the Peruvian Amazon. Oh, fuck. That was that goddamn disco. I will say, uh, there was a disco that lasted about a half hour right after dark last night and then stopped. So, uh, at least in Buena Vista, Mexico, I had no disco, no barking dogs, and no crowing chickens. I cannot believe it. I hit the Latin American trifecta. I mean, the, these bathrooms, I mean, they look almost new. That construction looks almost new. Toilet looks brand new. This was the last thing they built. Was the bathhouse. Oh, I mean, it's all depressing. 
just looking at uh first just looking at the jungle that's waiting to be destroyed and then looking at, at this it's you know it's it's strangely it's depressing and comforting at the same time uh, <laughs> Just people giving up their dreams, real estate dreams. Jesus Christ, real estate dreams. I mean, I <laughs> I just wonder what the future of bugs in a jar. I mean, I, I don't know right now uh, what's going on at bugs in a jar. I don't know if the roof is caved in under the snow. I'm assuming I would uh, hear something from Rob if, uh, <laughs> but I told him, you know, before I left, I said, dude, if, you know, something goes south up here and there's not a fucking thing I can do about it till I get back up here in May, don't just, you know, don't ruin my winter. Just don't tell me about it. If there's not a fucking thing I can do. <sighs> So they did not even, uh, they did not even bother closing the gate. So this is the main road leading in and out. Now the sewer is not down here. I've come to the end of the sewer line, so that was on septic. So they already installed the septic in there. You can see it coming out of the, the outflow from the bathhouse i mean they spent some serious fucking dough here and i don't see a for sale sign on it either uh, so he's not actively trying to sell it to uh some other clueless moron god i just think of myself 30 years ago, if I had walked into that, good lord, my brain would be whirring right now. It would be whirring like a, uh, like an ATM spitting out thousands and thousands of dollars. I, you know, I would be, uh, <laughs> oh god, humans, as they say, we just can't stop but uh and, you know this pendulum is going to swing one way or the next uh either this place either the global industrial economy is gonna go roaring ahead with their fucking little tourist trains and all the rest or it's gonna grind to a halt and so either, there's a beautiful house back there. So either uh, it's gonna look like fucking Bacalar here in 10 years, which is their intention, or it's gonna be just completely abandoned. And, uh, let the monkeys have it. I haven't seen any monkeys on this adventure. I guess they're around, but see what the other thing I don't know about this forest, I'm assuming that it's that this is all second or third growth. I mean, you know, well, this was Mayan, the you know, this was the middle of the Mayan civilization how many hundreds of years ago, so I don't even know what the Mayans had left before Honky ever got here. I noticed there are a few big trees remaining, but 99% of this jungle the, is under, under six inch diameter tree trunks. And of course, you know, it's a 365 day a year growing season. Uh, my guess is all of this 
was mowed down, I'm guessing in the 70s and 80s, that they came through here and just completely raped and pillaged this forest. This is probably an old, uh, what this road is, is probably an old logging road, actually. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. But Mother Earth, she's coming back, just waiting, biding her time for these dreamers, these dreamers with their fucking hotel dreams. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The last, uh, ho quote, hotel I just went completely abandoned. Completely abandoned. Uh, didn't, well, I mean, there were, well, there was someone living in it. There was a caretaker, so I didn't make a video because I didn't want to let him know I was there. So there's supposedly one more hotel down this road. That is, at least it's still on google.com if you search hotels in Buena Vista this is the last hotel until you start getting into Bacalar <sighs> see there's a big tree there are so I know that at least there used to be big trees here and hopefully Someday soon there will be a lot more big trees. There's a pretty big tree. Ah, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna continue my depressing slog thinking about all my own failures and broken dreams and fuck ups and that I've made along the way myself. Uh. And Lord. Onward.